Hey everybody, Sarah so here. So, um, I wasn't going to make a video today, I wasn't planning to make a video until next, well, this Thursday coming. Um, but I've seen something that's really wound me up. <coughs> so, um, I was on Tumblr and somebody I talked to saying, Have you seen the Mamma Mia trailer? Um, well, they, they said this to me when I was away from my laptop, so when I replied, they weren't on there, but they, um, but, but, I was like, you see this, you see, see this, can't find it anyway. Um, and then I went on Instagram, and I think I found it, I seem to have found it, um, not good quality, and, um, yeah. I hope, really hope it's, I mean, I hope it's fake, I, obviously some of the clips are new, because they got clips on like before, on that movie, that movie, hold on, that movie, and they have new clips where you can see, um, which is clearly like Sophie, um, uh, oh my god, Pierce, Meryl, Colin, uh, Julie, Stellan, Christine, uh, I can say Dominic but I can't remember seeing Dominic in the, in the clip, in the trailer, um, so that's what's making me think it's fake, I mean, I know he's in it, because, well, I'm trying to think if I did see any pictures of him on set, like, I've seen everybody else. Maybe he isn't in it, I don't know. Um, yeah, so you see them in the movie, you see Meryl in, in the movie, in the trailer. Um, um, Alright, I spoil <laughs> I say spoilers, but um, if you don't want to know what was in the trailer, stop watching now. So, it starts with um, Sophie meeting Rosie and uh, Tanya off, the, off, you know, coming off the boat. C kind of like Donna did in the first one. Um, and then she's telling them she's pregnant. I don't know, well, I'm guessing it's, uh, say Sam, not Sam. I'm guessing it's Skies because, actually no, they didn't get married, what on about? But, you know, they were together at the end of the last one. Um, like I said, I can't remember seeing any sky in the trailer. Except that sky. <laughs> and then, um, and she was, they were saying, uh, y your, your mum is a strong woman, or something like that. And like, I'm going to tell you how she done this. And I was like, that doesn't sound promising. It's not promising because you why isn't Donna telling this? <laughs> and then um oh God, I'm trying to think now so, oh God, uh, um I, it's probably not all in the right order that I'm thinking this but then uh, obviously they got flash not flashbacks they got bits where like you got Lily Co uh, Lily, Colin, Lily James um being Donna um I'm guessing, I don't know where she is actually, well obviously it's Greece, but she didn't start off in Greece if you know what I mean, so it was all that, like, the, what to call it, but back to modern day, um, yeah, you got, you, you see, it's, uh, Sophie talking to Donna, in one clip, in one little clip, it's about a two minute, well actually I don't know if it was two minutes, but, because this was on Instagram, so it didn't have a time thing on it. But it was like one little clip of Donna. Oh yeah, and, and there was like, you know at the end of the first one, where they done Waterloo and uh, Dancing Queen. Where they done that, there was a similar kind of thing with um, Meryl, Julie and Christine dressed up dancing. So I'm guessing that's going to be at the end. Let's do colour off. Um, yeah, so it's, and, and then there's... Uh, do, uh, not Donna, um, Sophie saying, 
Um, don't tell anybody about the baby yet to Sam, Bill and Harry. And Sam's like, I've only told Bill and Bill said, oh, I've only told Harry. And Harry's like, and I told everybody else. Or a lot of other people. Um, so there's that. And then like Sophie's like, I, I can't do this by myself. I'm like, where's Meryl? Where's Donna? And people say, oh yeah, but she looked out there for a week. Probably for we killed her off. But then, um, Pierce was probably only there for a week. Colin was probably only there for a week. Stella was probably only there for a week. And Christine and uh, Julie. So, I don't know. But I'm, I'm so excited about seeing the movie. I think it's not out until like next summer. This summer coming. But, would they really leak something like that? That Donna's gonna they're gonna kill Donna off if that's what's gonna happen. People aren't gonna go and see the movie. I mean, I'm pretty sure that a lot of fans that went to see the original were Meryl Street fans or became Meryl Street fans after it, like me. Because I mean, I haven't really seen any Meryl um, movies, and I went to see I went to see Mamma Mia because it was ever. I came out of the movie like I absolutely bloody love Meryl Streep and I've seen most of her movies since then um, so you can see how this is really it kind of upset me because they've killed her off I mean I don't know and, and not only that apparently when um, what's her name Cher when Cher's in it as Donna's mother it's in the modern day rather than in the past, in the flashbacks, which I don't understand because Donna said in the last one she, um, well, I'm guessing she was dead because Donna was saying about, um, about a number, not haunting it, but of something like that, I can't remember now. I was actually watching the movie, actually, I missed that bit of the movie, but, um, yeah, you know, the way she said it was like her mother was dead. Um, and this is like more up to date unless it was before i don't know before the last movie but more modern if you know what i mean i don't know but that will make any sense that they killed that they killed donna off and got um donna's mother back when donna's mother is supposed to be dead and Mara's supposed, uh, donna's supposed to be dead so that has really, really, really got to me. I had to make a video because it really pissed me off. Um, thing is, Julie Creamer hasn't said anything about it on, on Instagram. I mean, she hasn't said this is a new trainer. Um, but everywhere, everywhere I'm looking, people are saying, "I can't kill them off! I can't kill them off!" <laughs> There's a panic in the wall. And um, I really do because when I found it, I, well I thought I found it on, on um, YouTube but then it was blocked, blocked in my country for some reason um, and I, like I said I found it on Instagram if it was like the actual proper trailer wouldn't they have put it on like I don't know Universal YouTube channel or something like that or whoever, ooh, I think it's, yeah, Universal will do it. Um, so I'm hoping this is all fake. I mean, obviously they've got the clips from somewhere. But I'm hoping they've edited it to make it sound like that when it's not like that, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so... I, 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 I want to go and see the film. I'm going to go and see the film. Because, I mean, Meryl's in it. For what little she is in it. Depending. Um, but. If they, if they, if they killed her. I don't know, I don't know, I'm actually thinking in my head. They killed her off. And they didn't see anything about it before. And then I'm watching it. And then they sit, you know, and they killed her. Then they kill her off. I'll be walking out. That's what's in my head. I probably wouldn't do that, but I mean, 
in my head, I'm like, I think you walk out. And if it was more street fans in that audience, they'll probably walk out as well. Imagine if I was the only one. I mean, hang on. When I went to see the single on version for the first movie, there was probably about four people in the cinema. The two times I went to see it when it first came out, like before the sing-along one came out, when it was just like the movie, it was full. I, oh, actually, I can't remember if the second time I went to see it was full, but it was busy. But the first time I went, we managed to get the last two. There was loads of people in the cinema, and we managed to get the last tickets. So, um, yeah, that was full. But can you just imagine? I went to see this movie now. I thought, I'm going to walk out if they killed Donner off. And then, um, I'm like the only person sitting in there. I would, they'd be like, where are you going? You can't leave, you're the only person in there. like, yeah, they killed Donner off. <laughs> I'm going, I'm out. Um, yeah, so, hopefully in like, what's it, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. In about seven months' time, well, is it the 20th of July, in it? Well, in seven months' time, just about, hopefully I can come back on here and say it went fine, nobody got killed off, and all that kind of stuff, but um, <laughs> not sure. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Yeah, and that's the other thing. I never got to go to the premiere the first time around be because uh, what were you videos or Um Yeah, I never got to see the pre uh, go to the premiere or not to the premiere. You know what I mean? Um, see the cast when I'm um, the first time around because I well I didn't know about it until afterwards. So I didn't get to meet Meryl or Pierce or Colin or Felon or Amanda or Julie or Christine or Dominic. I know I've missed somebody. I'm Amanda and Benny and Leon. Um, obviously I met Meryl since then. Well, I forgot her autograph and a, a blurred picture. But I'm determined this year, next year even, to go to London to the premiere and get a picture. And if they decide, oh yeah, Meryl's not in it much, oh she's not coming, that'll piss me off because, yeah, alright, going off topic a bit now, but I went to see Fantastic Mr Fox, well I went to the premiere of Fantastic Mr Fox because Meryl was in it, Meryl wasn't there. I went to the red carpet thing for the Raptors. I don't know if she was nominated. I think she might have been nominated. So I went there. She didn't go. Um, I, to be fair, I think when Fantastic Mr Fox was happening, that premiere, she was unwell last week. I think she was in London, but she was unwell, so she didn't miss the premiere. So that's understandable. Like I said, the second time with the Baptists, um, I got about God knows what time to get a wristband. And she wasn't there. But apparently she wasn't in, a, in the UK, so yeah. Third time, third time lucky. Um, I went to the premiere of The Iron Lady. <coughs> oh, she was the main person in, in that, so she had to be there. Um, and <laughs> I went down there with my dad, I went down to London with my dad, and I made sure we got a bit of <coughs> got down to um, the South Band, <coughs> and we were like sitting around there for ages, and then they were starting to put like the, the railings down, and I was like, um, I'm not moving from here, you know, I have no idea how I managed to go to the toilet. I really have no idea because I did not move from that railing. So I was like, I'm front, railing's here, I'm standing here, I'm not moving, I'm not missing out on a picture, I'm not missing out on a autograph. Um, so, like, I didn't move. 
to be fair, I don't think we're missing each other somewhere, like but I didn't move. And I thought, because if I move, somebody's going to pinch my face. So I wasn't going to move. And then obviously it was getting dark, and they were the red. <coughs> Actually, it wasn't a red carpet, it was a blue carpet. And, um, obviously then the press started turning up, and, um, obviously started getting busy. And then the celebrity started turning up, and I think Tom Hardy was there. I mean, I don't know who Tom Hardy was at that point. Now I do, and I was like, now I'm thinking, I think it's autograph. I don't know who he was at that point. He was in the, I think he was in the air, maybe. And I'm looking around because I've got the, um, you know, the cardboard thing that they have on the railings, like, I was facing it. Um, yeah, so, he was there. Who else was it? Um, oh, yeah. Where is the Lloyd? I think that's the name. I can't see it on the thing, is it? I didn't know now. <laughs> um, yeah, so, she was there. Um, who else was there? Um, Jim Bullbank was off. Jim Bullbank has to be there. Um, Right, Richard Egan, why am I, I think it was Richard Egan, but was he actually in it? I can't remember if Richard Egan was in it. Yeah, I think he was, and Anthony Head. There's quite a few people that turned up and knew me. That were in the film. Oh, oh, Olivia Coleman. She was in the movie, I had to try to think of her. See, I didn't even know who Olivia Coleman was then. And now I love her because she was in, um, Bullshit with David Tennant. So anyway, yeah, going off track. And then obviously you suddenly hear this screaming and like everybody going, No, no. And I'm like, Oh my god, she's actually here And then like obviously coming down the thing and I yes, doing interviews and I just came over like to the side I was on. Like I'm I'm here. Well, I'm here. And she got to about there and then they were thinking you have to go inside, you have to go inside. So there's a whole lot of people there, like about us and um yeah so they she, she went inside quite a lot of people left but there's all quite a lot of people there that you know the ones that haven't had a chance to get an autograph or anything so um i said to my dad look i think my dad was on like oh do you head back i can't remember what time it was at this point and i was like no i'm not letting back yet i'm staying here she gonna come out those doors yeah she might get into the car but she might come over I'm not missing that chance. If I found out that she came back out to do autographs and I'd already left, and I would have been kicking myself. So I stayed there. So then she came out and I think it was the um, security or whoever. They were like, you know, doing in the cars. So tell them to go in the cars. And I think, um, I don't know who came out first, but some people did go. And when Meryl came out, I was like, she's going to get in the car, she's going to get in the car. And she actually came over, and the way I was here, and there's people out there, I can't believe people on that side of me. And she <laughs> she actually took, I can't believe she took hold of my pen, but she took hold of the book, the autograph, well it wasn't an autograph book, it was just a book, and signed it. And, I mean, after that I couldn't, I managed to get a blurry picture, which bugged me because I wanted a decent picture. Well did my dad take the picture I got on the anyway. Um yeah, I was like looking at that autograph thinking, oh my god, I was when I was autograph. And like I said, I'm gonna get the cardboard thing. You know, the it's about that big when they have on the um readings. I need to get that as well. Okay, we're gonna be carrying that bag. Plus I had to get bus home to Wales the following day. Um yeah, anyway, so we went back to the hotel. I'm kind of on the high going like just kind of met Mel Street and then um uh yeah oh, dear, that's another funny thing go back to the hotel um what hotel are we staying in oh whatever one we were staying in anyway when we got back there we really uh, never yeah the tell you we had there you can get BBC One, BBC Two, it was Channel Four, Channel Five, and whatever other channels. But it wouldn't pick up ITV, and that didn't really bother me much. 
that I was like, what happens if I want to watch something on my TV? Go back to the hotel, I think. I think I could, because it was like cold. I went to get changed and something dry and a bit warmer. And my dad went out to get them kebab or whatever we got. <laughs> and while he done that, after I got changed, and while he was out um, getting us something to eat, I was seeing what was on telly. And ITV happened to work. It just happened to be here. And what film was on? Oh, brilliant. Mamma Mia. And I was like, you work, you finally work when I get back. I have to see Meryl Streep in it, but I feel home with Meryl Streep in it. So, um, yeah, that was kind of weird. But, yeah, so I got to meet Meryl Streep. I want to meet her this time. She better be there. And, as I keep saying, they better not have killed her off in the movie. Mamma Mia is supposed to be a happy film, not a tragic film. So, who knows? But, um,. Yeah, and Amanda, Amanda Seabree said in some article she thinks the film is better than the original not the original, better than the first one which would she say that if they killed Mel's character off? or she might have said it's a better film and a little bit sad if, if I can imagine it then if she said that but she said it's a better film she didn't say it was sad or anything so that's what's keeping me going thinking she hasn't been killed off um, yeah, so, I'm sure we'll find out. Um, and if, and if people ask Judy Kramer or somebody who's in the movie, then hopefully they'll be like, no, she hasn't been killed off. But then they could say that, and then they kill her off. Or, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll see you in my next video, which is going to be on Thursday. Um, yeah, so see you then. Bye.